Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to generate quick chart within few minutes without any single line of code. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel, like, share, comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. Let's get it started without any further delay. So you can watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. I will show you how to create the chart without single line of code or any standard feature given by the sales for like report and dashboard. I don't want to use that kind of you know feature so I can create my static chart in my particular record page or any kind of you know like app page something like that. So first of all you have to do one thing. Let me explain to you what is you know quick chart how to create that. So quick chart is an open API for generating chart images PDF and QR codes. So if you don't know about it so I already created one video about the QR code without single line of code. You can watch it and you can take some benefit from that particular videos. Okay, so now these chart and QR code are simple images which can be easily embedded in non-dynamic environments such as email, SMS, chat rooms or so on. You can use Salesforce formula field to embedded chart and QR code in the code page reports and emails. I have some favorite feature about it. So no code solution to generate dynamic chart and QR code in Salesforce. And you can use text field which contain the chart data or QR code the string in the formula field to generate dynamic chart and you know QR code in the runtime. So here first of all we have some prerequisites. So under here under the account you can edit this object click on this gear icon click on this added object under this edit object you have to create one custom field and it should be formula or uh, related to the formula with text so under the field and relationship let me create new field and it's a formula field so you can search here this is the data type of this schema right so just click next and here i want to give my name like say my chart something like that okay and the written type of this formula is text. So you can select this radio button text. Here you can see the some example as well. Click on the next. And here you can see, you know, like this is the formula data. So under this formula data, I want to edit my, you know, formula to generate the chart. So I have created some formula. So just let me copy it and paste it into this environment. So here you can see, Please try to understand this is the image, you know, like, uh, you know, like formula or in, inside this, you know, uh, all function categories. So this is the function like image under this image. I have this API and based on this query string like type bar data, this, this and data set label and, you know, like data and revenue or something like that. Right. So once you created this, you know, function with this kind of data. This is a static data, right? And click on this check a syntax. And after that, you can see here no syntax error in merge field or functions, right? And uh, you have to select like blank field handling. So not zero. I want to select as a blank. Suppose sometimes it's given, it did not given any kind of, you know, output. So always select this state blank fields as blank, right? So just click on the next to and once you click on this next, you can give the FLS based on your requirement. Click on the next. And I want to select all the page layout of this object, account object. Click on the save. And once you save it, now you can see uh, in this field and relationship, you can see here my, you know, QR code or my uh, like chart. So this is the custom field as a formula text you can see. And it's automatically embedded inside our page layout. So let me verify this page layout. And this is the main default page layout. So let me search here. Under here, you can see my chart. And it's having some lock icon means this is the formula. So here you can see this my chart. Click on the save. And once you save it, now just go back here and refresh this page and open any account record page, right? So let me open this United Oil and Gas Corporation. And here, just click on this detail. And once come down, now immediately you can see here, 
uh, earlier video I, I already created this QR code now this time you can see like my chart and this data like Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 user revenue and some value right so it's automatic generated by this quick chart API you can modify this formula based on your requirement so under this field and relationship let me search my you know chart so just click on this my chart here and edit it under this edit you can change this label data set everything based on your requirement let's say I want to change the revenue or user to uh, like uh, label this is the users right so like set of users like set of users and also revenue my revenue something like that please observe previously you can see only users and revenue and once you save it and modify this one and also I want to make it another quarter let's say uh, Q5 for example purpose there is four quarter in the year so but uh, right now I'm showing this you know like Q5 for example purpose and also I want to increase the data as well like 500 here and uh, please observe right now we have like 400 and Q4 and users and revenue once you save this formula let me save this formula here and once you save this formula now just go back here and let me refresh this page and once you refresh it you will be see data changed automatically here so just click on this detail tab and now you can see Q5 and also you can see like 500 value my user my revenue Q5 and also new column here right you can give any you know like any name this is a user so you can add the user for the Q5 so you can add like this so let me edit this formula here and under here we have like user data and also you can see the 500 we already added right and this is the data here data set my user data this this also you can add some you know data let's say 300 and let me save this and let's see once you save it now let me refresh this page and let's see the output here and here just click on this detail tab you can see immediately 300 so under the Q5 we have 300 and this revenue so based on this you know like this is the Q5 and 300 and the, you know 500 for this one so based on your requirement you can modify it and you can generate this kind of chart here okay so this is how to generate the chart using this quick chart API and no need worry about any single line of code if you have like some static value and you want to show something regarding this chart so you can use this API directly in the formula field that is very helpful okay so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel please like share comments and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya, thank you for watching guys.